Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been meaning to do this video for the longest time. I have got my hands on a fair few Pat McGrath products. So I'm just gonna be putting them on telling you what I think as we go along. You'll know by the end of the videos what you need to purchase. If you like these types of full face review videos, give it a thumbs up, comment down below with any other brands you want me to do, and please make sure you subscribe because I'd really appreciate it. But for now, I won't bore you for too long. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Not gonna lie guys, I did already film this video like a month and a half ago or something, and I hated it, absolutely hated it. So we're gonna give this another go. The foundation, I've actually gotten a new shade since I last tried it, so that is definitely gonna be first impressions because the shade. Speaking of foundation, my skin looks like absolute dog shit. Let's get some on my face. I'm gonna start off with the primer. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. This is what it looks like. I just love how fancy this gold is, but it is just cardboard wrapped around the bottle, just saying. I don't really have much to say on the primer because it basically just feels like really, really slightly thicker, but it's still like nice and hydrating, really nice and smoothing. There's not a lot to it. It feels more like a skincare product rather than a primer. It just feels really nice on the skin, to be honest, and it goes into the skin super quickly and easily. I am gonna quickly Kevin Aquan my skin, this scarring and discoloration because yeah, it's not cute. Any products that Pat McGrath doesn't have, I'm gonna use in between, but obviously everything will be left in the description box. Before we get started as well, seeing as we're doing skin, I have also got a lip balm and I absolutely love the packaging. Like look how cute the little lips are. This is what the lip balm looks like. It's this black lip balm. Mm, really nice. I'm so glad that came out clear. I was actually really shook. Lips are now prepped so I can do the rest of my makeup. I always like to prep my lips before I do my full face. Okay, face is Kevin Aquan. That should be like a, a thing. I've been Kevin Aquan. I don't know. Moving on to the ah, foundation. There has been so much hype around this foundation online. Some people love it, some people hate it. I actually can't remember how I felt about it, which is good. And I just know that the shape I had was wrong. I had like medium 18 or something. So fingers crossed this is the right shade for me. Otherwise I have got other shades I can mix with it. So I've actually got the Pat McGrath foundation brush to apply this with as well. So I believe that this is best applied with a brush. You don't have to have this particular brush, but anything that's kind of like flat head at the top would be perfect. There are so many foundation brushes out there on the market that have a brush like this. So yeah, I'm just gonna give this a good shake. Always shake your foundation guys before you apply it and like I said I've got this in the shade medium 15 oh my god before I get it on packaging goals literally this is just so beautiful I love it honestly I don't think there's a foundation out there that looks this pretty challenge me tell me comment down below let me know is there a foundation bottle that is prettier than this i don't think so this looks hella bougie and it needs to because it's expensive okay it also comes with a pump of course has this beautiful gold detailing here glass bottle you know everything that you expect from a very expensive foundation okay right let's get this on i'm scared it's gonna squirt out Okay, this definitely looks like the right shade for me, which is good. I'm gonna blend this out the way I always blend my foundation out, which is stippling, patting the foundation into my skin, and let's see how we get on with coverage. Oh my God, this foundation is it's proper wet. Yeah, I don't remember this, so this is definitely first impressions on the foundation. It's hella dewy, very wet. And coverage, I feel, is quite light. Like, I can definitely still see my skin. You can see my two little beauty marks there. 100% can see my skin through this. I'm so glad I applied Kevin Aquan first because you can see my scar still here. And that's a really dark gray scar at the moment. Really, I should have color corrected, but I didn't want to interfere too much with the foundation. I would strongly advise not to put this foundation on with a beauty blender because your beauty blender is going to just eat the foundation straight up it's gonna soak it up considering how runny this foundation is and like lightweight you definitely wouldn't want to use 
a damp sponge. No way. Okay, as I'm blending it, the coverage is just getting slightly better. As it sets, it looks better. I think when you first put it on and it's so wet, I felt like, oh God, oh God. But as it's like kind of setting, it is looking better. Can I just say the shade is really good. I'm so glad I managed to find a shade match in this foundation. Woohoo! Go on, Pat McGrath. Get it, girl. It's very wet at first, but then it's set. It's not the most coverage. I definitely require more coverage than this, like 110%, especially since my skin is not the best at the moment. It's just very skin-like, a very light coverage. Like, what I've just put on is almost like CC cream or slightly heavy tinted moisturizer because your skin looks healthy. It's got this kind of like sheen glow to it. Can you see in the light? It's got that moisturized kind of glow to the skin. Very, very skin like, really natural. But for someone that doesn't have the best skin or someone that likes full coverage, I mean, I could see this would work really, really well if you've got perfect immaculate skin like models. This is what annoys me though about brands that they make these foundations sometimes and they'll say it's for all skin types. And it's like, no, not everyone can use this the average person with texturized skin or scarring or hyperpigmentation all of those kind of things hun how's that gonna work imagine i color corrected i would need a slightly heavier foundation i don't know so i am gonna go in with a little bit more and i am gonna kevin and kwan one more time just right here i've just put some on the back of my hand let's see if i build this up slightly more how we get on but i'm glad i actually gave it like a moment to set to really kind of judge it because if i went off that first impression where it was looking wet i probably would hate it i don't know if the camera is going to pick this up but can you see the difference between this side and this side this already just looks still not as heavy you can still see my beauty marks through the foundation but the coverage is just already looking better this is how i would like my natural to look more flawless whereas this you can see it's not flawless you can see the discoloration in my skin so yeah let's get a little bit more on this side of my face. It's definitely buildable. I probably wouldn't go in with loads at one time. I would go in with like how I'm doing it was do some and then do another layer just because of how runny and watery it is. That is much better. I can happily leave this coverage here. It's not full, full coverage. I feel like I've got to a good medium coverage. You can still see my skin through the foundation. You can see my beauty marks and it still looks like well nourished skin without looking or feeling really heavy on the skin. It feels super light. So I'm not mad at this. I'm going to go ahead and cream contour, conceal and do all of that because Pat McGrath doesn't have those products in her range yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then I will be back. Okay, concealer, contour is on. I've just done a really light one today. I feel like going a little lighter with the base. Oh yeah, it wouldn't make sense to have a heavy ass contour and really heavy under eyes with a nice medium base. You know, you gotta balance, balance. I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Powder in the shade Light Medium 2. It's kind of like a nice light banana shade. This is really cute because it comes with like this net right here but it's super easy to get the product out and the net is actually really nice and thin okay so i'm gonna pick up some of this powder and just push this over my concealer i have already put a little bit of laura mercier just underneath just because i kind of need to set it with a translucent powder before i go in with a colored powder like a banana kind of shade otherwise sometimes it can look too ashy on me so it's just something that i do but this taking a yellow powder over your translucent powder is going to help brighten the under eye and this powder is super lightweight so I really like it and yeah this powder is definitely too light for me to use on its own like straight on top of the concealer so I'm just going to take this around the areas of my face that would need highlighting because it's a nice light yellow powder I'm just going to apply it in all of the areas that we highlight in and then I'm just gonna dust it off pretty much straight away I don't actually want it to sit on my skin for too long can you see where I've applied a bit too much over here it's like looking oh it looks hella patchy oh no I might be able to fix that and that is exactly why I wouldn't have put it straight on top of my concealer okay let me try and sort this out just by spritzing my face if this ever happens and you find that your powder is like patchy and clinging to your concealer going with a setting mist 
Okay, as predicted, it sorted it right out. No patchiness, no more. Woohoo! And I've also just gone ahead and applied some bronzer because Pat McGrath ain't got no bronzer in the line. Next, highlighter. But my highlighter's actually... Let me show you. My highlighter's actually back here on display, you know? Guys, do you like my new backdrop, by the way? I'm feeling very festive. I feel like I need to get some lights up in there. But I've got this super cute Charlotte Tilbury stocking. It's actually got my name on it, but you can't see it. And I don't know. Do you like... All the decoration that I've done. What do you think? What do you think? Back to Pat McGrath. I don't think she does single highlighters as far as I know. This is what I do have. This is uh, the Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. Love the packaging, super cute. And this is what it looks like. We have three shades here. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but this one in the middle looks so light. It literally looks white with little bits of gold in there. And then this is like super, super white with bits of pink and you can see then there's quite a jump to this like bronzy one let me just swatch all of them for you that's kind of like the pink one the pink iridescent one which is beautiful but oh the gold one is just standing out to me and then i love this bronzy one as well this is what the bronzy one looks like so you can see that in the palette it doesn't look like how it's actually going to look on the skin i'm going to mix these two together I'm literally just running my brush along the two shades just to make sure I pick up a nice even amount. And then, okay, wish me luck. We're gonna go onto the top of the cheek. Oh, yes. See, now that's my perfect shade because I mixed the two together. If I just used the light gold, it would have made me look gray, but I needed to use both of the shades. I'm actually really glad that she's got three shades in one little palette and they blend so nicely they go on nicely it's the kind of highlighter that actually like it doesn't look like it's sitting on your skin it's it just blends into whatever you've got on i might take this lighter gold the middle shade and just using the lighter one only take that right on the top of my cheekbone that tiny tiny amount just to get the pop going but because it's already got the base of the two shades mixed together it won't look great oh yes and then i'm going to mix the two shades again and just take that all over my face okay guys blush is on and i've also just prepped the lid with some concealer we are gonna put on some eyeshadow now pat mcgrath actually has quite a few eyeshadow palettes i'm gonna go in with this one they all look the same like this but this is the mothership palette and this is what it looks like it's absolutely gorgeous as you can see i have already used it i'm actually gonna go in first of all with this shade right here and we're gonna take it through the crease and just keep blending it back and forth okay so now i actually remember the matte shades actually come out a bit darker than how they look in the pan in the pan that brown looks a lot lighter and slightly warmer whereas on my eye it's come up looking a little bit cooler and a little bit deeper so that's just something to be aware of and it's something that i actually remember but i feel like they do blend easily and you can see the shades are so super pigmented so we're gonna go in with this sparkly gold kind of shade i think it would be best to apply this shadow with a wet brush or your fingers so i'm gonna try with my fingers first actually let's go in just by patting it fingers are actually working a treat you know i've already used this palette and i tried to film with it before and i used that coppery shade that's in here i used it with a brush and for some reason it just wasn't looking cute but i should have actually gone in with fingers because the pigment is just coming off so much nicer i'm gonna see what it's like if i just apply it with a dry brush just to get right into the inner corners i think what i did last time is i used a damp brush straight away and maybe the damp brush is what killed it okay ignore the damp brush situation guys i think it just needs to stay dry flat because it's glittery and i'm not really getting fallout either which is amazing i mean hello glam eyes right let's apply some liner first and actually i might take a teeny weeny bit of this darker brown one and when i say teeny weeny bit i literally i mean teeny weeny bit okay i'm right on the outer corner like literally here and I'm kind of just like going in like the V of the eye here, just to make sure it's nice and dark right 
on the outer corner and then you can take some of that brown that we used and just take it in between so next i'm just gonna apply some liner i'm gonna apply a wing liner i'm just gonna start across my lash line as i always do and then i'll create the wing and make sure everything is nice and joined up okay now that liner is on i can breathe i actually really really love this liner it's super black and there's something about it it just feels like silk it just glides on i could have said this while i was doing the liner but i needed to breathe it's a really really nice black liquid liner and i'm just gonna take the same dark shade just on the outer corner right at the very bottom just on the outer third to kind of frame the eye exactly how it is here and then i'll just blend that lighter brown through it and i'll take the lighter brown slightly lower make it look slightly more smoky and then i do actually have some eye pencils from pat mcgrath as well i've got a dark brown shade which is called shade i'm going to take this just in the waterline i feel like a black might be a bit too harsh and too strong for this look i want to keep it slightly softer this just glides right on as well it feels so nice and silky it's actually really cool toned so it works really well with the rest of the eye look so i'm really pleased with how it's turned out so far and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara and lashes and then I will be back with you. Finally, for the lips, I'm gonna go nude. You can do red, you can do literally any kind of lip color with this eye look, but I really wanna go for the nude because I don't have a red lip liner or anything. I only have the nude lip liner, so sorry. This is in the shade Contour, which I really like the name of. So I'm just gonna line my lips with this first. And it's actually quite a light shade, but I have to say the lip liner does glide on. It's super smooth. The lipstick I'm going to wear is called Donatella and it's this nude shade. And like I was saying before, they've got the gold lips. So the lip balm is the black lips and the lipstick is the gold, which is so cute. Definitely glides on and is so super pigmented as well okay so that lip is actually really beautiful i am super impressed honestly the way i finished the video the first time was like eh, i don't know but now the products are so good i feel like they are made to make your life kind of easy especially the eyeshadows like the way that glitter went on was just like nothing i've ever tried before and i feel like everything it's just meant to be like glam but like a soft glam and i I've tried to make this as, you know, full coverage as possible, you know, my normal kind of style of makeup. But I actually like that I look so much softer. Maybe it's the tones that I've chosen to use today. I'm just going to take a closer look. It actually looks really, really nice on my skin. Like you would never tell that it was such like a, a wet product at first. I'm super impressed. It just feels like I'm wearing nothing on my skin, which is amazing. My skin, but better. I don't feel heavy at all. Okay, guys. So here we have the finished look. I really hope you like it. Like I have said, I'm really impressed. The products that I feel like are must-haves maybe, nothing's a must-have, but if I had to like repurchase, it would probably be foundation, highlighter. If you are into your eyeshadows, then definitely the eyeshadow palettes are pretty special. I can't lie. She's got so many and different kind of colors in there. Like they're incredible. And now that I know how to use the glitters, I'm so impressed. Give this video a like if you enjoyed this full face kind of review. Let me know if you want me to do any other full face reviews with any other brands. Leave it below in the comment section. I'd love to know if you enjoy these types of videos. If you've tried any of the Pat McGrath products, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Join the family. Get me on Instagram for more looks over there and just general daily life. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.